everyone. So I just wanted to do a quick vlog about some websites that are really, really helpful. Um, and I've gained a great support system and a lot of information um, from them that have been helping me through this past month. So the first one, and probably the most important one, is obesityhelp.com. Um, it is, it's like a social network, it has a health tracker, it has a food journal area, I mean it's everything and I suggest that every single person go and get an account if they're thinking about or have had um, any kind of weight loss surgery. It's, I mean it has everything in it, it has steps to help you get the surgery, steps to help you with your insurance, it explains the aftercare, it's a really good resource and you can network with other people in the same situation. Um, I'm on it, you can add me, my username is Makisha. And then the next one um, is just some recipes that people have made gastric bypass friendly. Um, it's just a, like a, almost like a little cookbook online of different things and she notes how she's changed the recipes to fit, you know, our nutritional needs. Um, so that's a really, really good one and of course I'm putting it right here. And then the next one is a food journal um, from, and I think she does it for about three years. She lists every single day what she's eaten. This was enormously helpful. My friend Deborah um, actually sent it to me. It was so helpful. I mean, it's scary after, and you don't want to do the wrong thing, and you don't want to eat the wrong thing, and especially if you're in a situation like I am where the support system isn't as good as it would have been if you were in the States. Um, this is a phenomenal help. It really gives you an idea of where you should be and what you should be. Okay, so the next one is a really popular one and it's livestrong.com. Um, I find a lot of nutritional information for the food that I eat on this website. Um, the Obesity Help website, it has a nutritional tracker so you can enter food, um, but a lot of times, you know, it's only food that you or other people have entered. So a lot of times, it won't be there, so you have to enter it in yourself and you need the nutritional value. This website has nutritional value for almost anything that you could think of. Um, so it's a really, really good resource. And it also has some good exercising tips because even though we're losing weight just from the surgery, we really should be working out and getting muscle mass. Um, I'm sure you've all seen that person who's lost a ton of weight and now they look like they've aged because they have that, I don't know, it's the same thing that happens to like elderly people where it's just skin hanging on bone, it's just not attractive. So muscle mass is important and working out is really important. Um, so this has some al also some good ideas on it. And then there is of course Spark People. Spark People, um, it's kind of like obesity help but it's not as in depth or detailed or as bypass friendly. Um, but it's a good, also a good network and also if you're just looking to lose weight, um, you can track your food, you can track your um, exercise. It's a really, really good website. Before I got the surgery, um, I had been working out at the gym and um, when we first got here and we used we all use Spark People to um, track our food and our exercise. It's a really 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 helpful website. Okay, and then one more thing, um, I was surfing around on ObesityHelp.com, and I saw this little clip for a Couch to 5K running plan. So I have been heavy my whole life, and I always used to say fat people don't run because everything jiggles. So I never ran. I don't think I even run when I'm scared. Um, so I just thought it was an intriguing thing, you know, from the couch to 5K. And I've always seen 
you know, my friends, especially when I was going to the gym, I made a lot of athletic friends who were running these marathons and all this stuff, and I would always be like, oh, that's kind of cool, but I don't know how they do it. It was just something that I never allowed myself to want to do, and I think I'm going to do it. Um, the plan is really cool, and it seems to have, like, a realistic, a realistic progression. Um, here, I'll read you some of it. So, week one... The first workout you're going to do is a brisk five-minute warm-up walk, then alternating 60 seconds of jogging and 90 seconds of walking for a total of 20 minutes. The second workout for week two is a brisk five-minute warm-up walk, then alternating 60 seconds of jogging and 90 seconds of walking for a total of 20 minutes. And this is the same thing for workout three of the first week. Uh, it looks like it's the same through the second week. And then on the third week, it's a brisk five-minute warm-up walk. Then do two repetitions of the following. Jog 200 yards or 90 seconds. Walk 200 yards or 90 seconds. Jog 400 yards or three minutes. Walk 400 yards or three minutes. And it progresses like that through the weeks until you're running. And I just think that this is the coolest thing. And if I could accomplish a 5K... I would feel phenomenal. This would be something totally different. So I think I'm going to start that next week. I'm going to see if I can find a running partner and see if somebody wants to do it with me. If you do, Facebook me because I'm down. Um, and let's see if I can make it to the 5K because wouldn't that be awesome? Um, so anyway, I'll put that website here as well. It's coolrunnings.com. And I'll put the direct link to the um, Couch to 5K challenge. So that's all and I hope that everything is going well and if anybody has any questions of course email me and I hope that some of you will check out these websites because even if you're not obese, um, especially Live Strong and Spark People and Cool Runnings, they're just about being healthy and everybody should be healthy. So check them out and as always I love you guys and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.